All right, we are, we are here with Emily Robertson, professional graphic designer. Uh, we have a few questions for her. First off, what does graphic design mean to you? Uh, graphic design means uh, balance between sort of the traditional art that we've all sort of grown up and been exposed to and the business need that we have for design for packaging, branding, websites, promotional sort of aspect of graphic design. It, it is, it flows into absolutely every part of business, every culture, and it is historically a form of communication as well, so. Right. What do you think of, or actually, what made you want to start doing graphic design? Cool. What do you think of Helvetica? Uh, originally, I didn't like Helvetica very much, but I've definitely been won over by it this year. The more I, I work with it, the less I like Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> How come you didn't like Helvetica at first? Was it too plain it or something? It was too popular. Ah, I understand. <laughs> Everybody loves Helvetica, so I wanted to try something. Can you tell us anything about Helvetica Blue Steel that is coming out? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the the, uh, the next wave in, the, in what Helvetica brings to us. The That's right. best of best. That's right. Yes. No, you can't tell us anything about it. I. I it's too secretive. It's too secretive. Yeah. All right. I, I can't. I I know people. That's all I can say. All right. What do you think of Comic Sans? That's all you need to know? To. That's all you need to know. Fair enough. All right, this is the big one. Okay. What do you think of David Carson? Um, I think David Carson is absolutely brilliant. He's a very uh, a graphic designer who changed um, the face of what we know as sort of the digital era and new wave typography as well as a forerunner in graphic design that wasn't based on education, that was based on sort of passion and also a, a personal interest to um, sort of, he did do some schooling as far as I know, but um, his work is fantastic. He brings this fantastic grunge, this um, Southern California surfer style to everything. And he's, um, from what I know of him, he's very personable whenever he speaks um, for um, uh, international sort of meetings having to do with graphic design with huge audiences and things it seems like a really neat thing to be involved with. And he likes New Zealand, which is cool. All right. What do you think of professional typographer and teacher David DeFrancesco? I think David is a <laughs> wonderful instructor. He's definitely given me the type bug. I love typesetting because of him, and I have a new appreciation for the importance of uh, Roman hanging indents and quotations. Mm -hmm. typography is invisible, that it makes everything so much more readable and so much more uh, easy to access in a way that nobody can really see except for the typographer. Cool. What made you want to start doing graphic design? Or wait, I already asked you that. Mm -hmm. Mac or PC? I like PC. Obviously, <laughs> PC. I, I work with both, <laughs> but I'm uh, traditionally, I'm a PC. Uh, it comes down to brass tags. Macs have a beautiful um, video card, and so it's true. Their images are are really, really. There's a, there's a difference. They're clearer, they're sharper, they're brighter. Um, but as far as the operating systems, I really, really like uh, PC. And shout out to Windows Seven. All right, fair enough. It's interesting because I think. It was either 80 or 90% of the graphic design industry actually used Mac. It's true. 
so you are that 10 or 20 percent, whatever it is. <laughs> you are part of it. On the lower end of the scale. <laughs> yep. Blackberry or iPhone? Uh, this is something I've been trying to decide for myself. Most of my friends have iPhones. Um, I know a couple people who have Blackberries. They're good for different purposes. I haven't decided yet, so I'll have to get back to you on that one. All right. Look forward to it. So finally, where do you see yourself in three years from now? Ooh, three years from now. Um, most likely, like, the rest of my classmates, I'll probably be down at the coast uh, because that's where most of the graphic design mm -hmm. firms are, and um, that's where the pulse of the art scene is as, as far as Western Canada is concerned. And it allows me to keep up with some of my hobbies, um, being down at the coast because I enjoy mountain biking and sailing. So, um, yeah, most likely down there. I don't know if I'd be working with a magazine or if I'd be working with a graphic design firm or if I would be working within a company as the head graphic designer for any of the uh, publication stuff that they produce, but most likely down there. All right, thank you.